Hello, this is Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel, back with another question. This one's a cracking lintel from Ryan. And Ryan said that he had this opening done and that he's noticed since it's been done, he's seen this cracking going all the way along the top. And uh, he said it's nearest the road. Could it be the fact that it's the road? Because the one on the left-hand side that we can see slightly there, uh, there's no cracking appearing. So I said, Ryan, I need a few more pictures if you can send me some. And this is what he sent me. This is work in progress. The guys are knocking out the opening here. They're not using any support. Looks like a bit of a, a lightweight block wall. So he, they're saying it's non-load bearing. So they can just hack away at it. There's no problem. But there must be something above there, surely. Otherwise, why bother, you know, putting a support in at all? This is the next picture, which shows the wall chopped out they've chopped all this lot out they've put in these concrete plank lintels now these are a, a pre-stressed lintel they're the same thickness as a course of bricks so roughly 75 millimeter thick and you just bed them in where the bricks would go they're a great idea they're, they're very good but they're intended for use when you're actually building the wall and for various reasons you need several courses of brickwork built in at the same time above them rather than just chopping out the brickwork and putting that um, underneath as they have done here because it's just not the right product basically there's something about the way that the brickwork and the lintel work integrally as one they become one unit so you get a kind of arching effect if you like you get the support from the brickwork and you also get the support from the lintel now, you can get a thicker concrete lintel, one which is twice as deep, you know, a couple of courses thick, which is a much heavier thing. But what I tend to use, or what most people would tend to use in a situation like this, is a couple of steels. You know, you just put a steel lintel in there and um, it does the job. So there's no reason why they shouldn't have got a couple of steel beams and put those in there and done the job properly. Now, interestingly, this is the side that they cut out but this has also been supported on the left-hand side. They've put a new lintel in there, and you wonder why that's happened. So if we look at this finished job, we can see that they've equalised the opening. Whether it was equalised or not, I don't know, but it's certainly equal now. Here we can see the cracking. This is the concrete plank lintel basically just sagging slightly because it doesn't have this integral brickwork above it, and the whole thing's kind of just shrunk. These concrete lintels are pre-stressed, which means that they get the reinforcing cable, if you like, that goes through the middle and they stretch it on a machine that, that puts it under tension and actually increases the length of it very slightly. And then they cast the concrete in the trough, if you like, let that go off for a few days, and then they release the tension on the reinforcing that's going through the middle and what happens then is it tends to want to arch the lintel up because it's under that tension it's not going to sag it wants to just pull the lintel upwards so you tend to get a top and a bottom on the lintel if you look at them sometimes not always but sometimes you can actually see that they bow very slightly so you would tend to put the bow up so it forms a kind of like an arch like a very gentle arch so if there's any load on the middle here it would be pressing down and trying to straighten that lintel. But because of the reinforcing inside, it's not able to straighten it. That reinforcing is holding it together. So the concrete is doing very little except holding that reinforcing in place and obviously giving you something to support your bricks on. But the, the concrete isn't actually a structural element. The concrete, without that reinforcement, would just simply snap in the middle and it would be game over. But as I say, good invention in the right place. So I asked Ryan what was above the wall, as he said, non-load bearing. And he's a graphic designer, so he sent me a nice little picture here of the wall that's above the little. Now, I'm assuming, because he hasn't put any brickwork in here, that this is a gable end. It might not be. It might be a continuous going all the way through. But I'm assuming that what's above these concrete lintels is a gable end brickwork and if that's the case it says continuous wall if that's the case then you can see that if you get this what i'm talking about this arch effect which is the bricks going up there and coming down there and if you took the brick and a, a point load there it would 
because of the brickwork, we can't see because he hadn't drawn the brickwork in, but you would tend to get a spread on the lintel, which is why it's important to build the brickwork in above the lintel as you go. You lay the lintel, you build the brickwork in, and the whole thing works as one. I don't know why. I'm not a structural engineer, so I can't tell you the, the scientific reason, if you like, for that happening, but it is clear on the instructions that that's the way that these concrete plank lintels are supposed to work. So I would think all his troubles are basically he's got the wrong materials, he's got the wrong lintel in there, and he's probably got the wrong guys doing it, quite honestly. I can't... Uh, I can't beat about the bush with that. I don't think they've uh, done an amazing job for him. But there you go. It's sometimes what you get. Well, it's very often what you get. Anyway, I'm Roger Bisbee. Tell me what you think. I'd love to see your comments underneath these. It's not all about me giving the experience. I mean, I've got to say, you know, I'm not talking from a position of superiority here. I did this once on my first house. I knocked out a bit of wall. I went down to the merchants, had a look at the lintels. I thought, oh, they're cheap, those ones, concrete plank lintels. Took it home, put it up. Mate of mine dropped round just to see the progress. He happened to be a structural engineer and he went, Rog, you got the wrong lintel there, mate. You never stop learning. Send in your questions, but we're favouring the ones which have got nice pictures or video with them. That's just the way it is. We're, we're in the business of uh, entertainment here, <laughs> if you can call it that.